All right, coming up next, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. Well, we really don't see a lot of guys in MMA with boxing skills on this level. He certainly could have gone on to great things as a professional boxer, but he believes he has the best hands in the sport, and he will be looking to prove as much here tonight. And he has the background to prove that, right? He's not saying something that is not true. He does have the ability to say that. He can say he has the best hands in the game because he has shown it. And when you watch him box, when you watch a guy go into a fight with this young man and think, that it does not matter what his credentials are. He is going to stand with them and prove that he's better. They usually will go to sleep because no action is wasted. The jab starts it all. He fights behind this beautiful, educated jab. Jab and high, jab and low, and then the overhand right is unbelievable. It's his kill shot, he calls it, and he lands it all the time. All right, get out your 209 tattoos, folks. Here he is, the one, the only, Nate Diaz making the walk yet again. It's been a long time, but Nate Diaz is back tonight. He has put in all the right work. You know, few guys in this division work harder than Nate Diaz. It's good to see him back in the UFC. And you notice it, John, right? The cardio. The cardio is one thing that stands out about Nate Diaz. He looks like he's just touching guys with all of the strikes, but the buildup from all the, the activity that he puts out usually will make his opponents will. And once he gets him to the ground, he's a jiu-jitsu black belt that can finish the fight with a number of submissions. Yeah, he'll hit you with the open hand, too. He'll invoke that Stockton slap. You think we see that tonight? Stockton slap, but it's just so disrespectful. What I love watching is so Nate Diaz. Gotta get you a Lafayette slap or something. <laughs> Good to see Nate Diaz back here tonight, one of the biggest fan bases in the world, and they are all watching the pride of Stockton, California here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. It's the sports fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Long Island, New York, USA, the Cooler. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 22 wins, 13 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, USA, Ladies and gentlemen, and Ultimate Fighter season winner, Nate Diaz! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is my favorite. Ready. So here we go with round one. Seems to be a throwback type of matchup here. The classically trained striker taking on the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. But BJJ black belt with this guy doesn't even begin to describe his credentials. It does not describe how good he is. His vast knowledge of all the Jiu Jitsu positions. This guy, once you're on the ground, there is no place where you are safe. You are constantly getting attacked. He's always throwing up submissions. He's always attacking arms. He's always attacking your neck doing everything to try and make you think submission's coming, even if it's just to change positions to secure top. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, beautiful jab from Nate Diaz. If he gets that weapon going early, he could be trouble. Yeah, he starts touching you with the jab over and over again, and then when he starts to let that right hand fly, you start to see real big reactions from his opponents. 
All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Diaz's strike attempt there is blocked. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Oh, what a punch. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. Goes to the body there. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Diaz. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Straight right hand, no good. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Big leg kick lands. Lands the right hand. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Nate Diaz. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch like this puts a smile on my face. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Well, Nate Diaz has certainly found the range here early, DC. This is a fighter close to my heart, close to my left forearm. 209, represented well here tonight. Nice shot to the body there. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to ring. Single collar tie now. And that one certainly found the target. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Nice punch here. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, locking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice connection there by Nate Diaz. Not a guy you want to let get going here on the feet, DC. No, because it's all downhill with Nate, right? It's the activity that will overwhelm his opponents. And this looks like the start of that. Good punch, Lance. Fifteen seconds. Round two straight ahead. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. Beautiful punch. Slips the punch. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. 
what do you follow up a beautiful strike like that lead with? We'll see very shortly. Well, now if you're the opponent, you really got to be careful as Diaz is able to find a home for that right hand yet again. When Diaz starts landing the right hand, you have got to stay firm. You have got to dig your heels in the ground and say, no way you're going to just run me over. Easier said than done when you're facing Nathan Diaz. Oh, big punch land. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh! Oh, straight right! The right hand just misses. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Diaz's shot there is blocked. What a body kick. Just missed with that right hand. What a punch. Nice right hand. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Beautiful right punch, follows it up with the left. Diaz gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Strong straight left there. Ball left hook to the head. It's blocked. They continue to exchange. Flips the punch nicely there. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Great punch landing with so much power. And there comes the separation now. Uppercut attempt nearly connects, but no good. Left hook counter there yet again. How about that shin? Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. Spinning back fist. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most, if not all, of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Nice strike. Oh, beautifully timed. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Misses with the left hook. And he landed the right hand there. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Diaz. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh! All right, so there's the end of the round, and we will continue to keep an eye on the cut on the nose. That thing is only getting worse. And again, you got to get that guard up, and even when he does, it seems like the strikes are getting through. That is a significant cut now on the bridge of his nose.
Well, what a round it was. Daniel Cormier, you were one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. I'm not sure you can do a Superman punch like that, though. With my luck, I would try to push off and my foot would be slippery, wet or something. I would fall right into a knee. No, I would not try that. I don't have that ability. I'm not that free inside the octagon. He blocked the shot. Clipped him with a right hand there. He loaded up on that right hand too. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Great punch. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Just misses there with the left. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. to the head block. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Wow. Oh, big uppercut there. Didn't get the knockdown, but that is a significant strike. A very significant strike. And now his opponent may start to drop the hand to block the uppercut. So look for him to throw something else now up top. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Effective punch there by Diaz. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is oh. up now. He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Spinning back fist is there. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Good right hand. Nice. Keeps the elbow there. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Diaz. Superman punch now. Nice body kick. Diaz's strike attempt there is blocked. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Man, that cut is just getting worse by the minute. Rated R tonight. Beautiful strikes. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Well, missed on that one. Well, we wondered earlier. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad now. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Diaz. Slips to avoid that left. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Looping left hand misses the target. Oh! oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses...
position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Oh, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you've got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need to control posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legit... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Good stick. Lanza, Lanza right hand upstairs. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, lands another punch there. And not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Punch over the top. Just misses with the straight left hand. Oh, big overhand. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Right hand on point. Liver kick. Wow! He's in trouble. He's going back. Oh, oh, overhand left. No good. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, look at that jab, snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing him upside his opponent's head over and over again. Pretty good job by him there to raise the guard and block the strike, keeping those hands up to protect that cut in and around the eye. He has to keep his hands up. This is not by choice. This is mandatory. It is mandatory that he covers his face. It is mandatory that the body damage is not as important as protecting the eye because the more the eye gets cut up, the more of a chance the commission will come in and say enough is enough, we have to stop this fight. Just over two minutes to go. Nice one-two there. Nice punch land. And they separate. All right, so he lands a jab there. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Oh, he just hurt him. He just hurt him. Man, doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Right punches there. Close guard. Gets up again here, but hurt. Big punch lands through the middle. 
Working inside the closed guard now. And really starting to make these shots count. All right, trying to pass here. As Grover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Back to the feet now. I'm not sure if I saw it. Oh. It's over. Crowd loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at 4 minutes, 29 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout, the cooler. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public Tonight he did exactly that. Congratulations.